वहाँ ठंडी से प्रॉब्लम थी यहाँ गर्मी में प्रॉब्लम है नेक्स्ट इज वट इज इट ओ वेदर माई फेवरेट वेन आई मीन सिक्स आई मीन द डबलिन स्टैंड इन द लिस्ट वेयर It stands after places like Copenhagen, Zurich, London. What I'm missing. Everybody's getting back exactly what they're given. Hello, people, and welcome back to my channel, The Life to Tell a Tale. My name is Sharmi Shah, and today I am back with another video. Kitna acha laga after saying this. I'm. I think I'm saying this after so long. I'm feeling really nice. Um, let me tell you. I think I have not put an upload on YouTube for about 45 and a half days now. And by the time I upload, I think 46th day will be out. Uh, there are many reasons why I did not upload anything. Uh, number one being that I was busy settling down. Um, uh, it's like a drastic change. Though I was there just for two years, and though I was always longing to come back to live in India. Uh, once you live outside and then come back to India, there are so many things that you'll you know start finding flaws in. Um, but yeah, I was busy doing that. If you're following me on Instagram, uh, I think uh, you can see that uh, how I'm setting my house up, how gradually uh, I'm getting used to the temperature. वहाँ ठंडी से problem थी यहाँ गर्मी में problem है. But yeah, and the second reason being कि A lot of people are not watching uh, Ireland specific content. I understand why that is happening because the study abroad market has gone down. Uh, a lot of uh, the students who have got their admit and uh, you know are on the verge of going uh, to study abroad are kind of on a standstill now. Are not able to understand if they should go or no? Maybe because um, the other side of the world is not feeling as safe as India because everything has come back into action here, but the rest of the countries are not the same. Ireland is, I think, probably the only country now that is going lockdown after lockdown, and for families or for students to decide to go to Ireland in, in at this stage uh, can be very tricky. So, for all the students who have already decided to. go to ireland and study for them hats off because you are ready to take that leap of faith uh, if i were you i wouldn't uh, prefer going uh, there and studying now because majorly because um the whole idea of going and studying in ireland is to not just ireland for that matter the whole idea of going and studying abroad is to get that university experience getting that exposure uh, getting to meet all the dynamic people around you but there is no point in spending so much money and going and studying there in between four walls through a computer so i wouldn't go for it but uh, i understand there can be many constraints for which people have decided ki jana hai to isi saal because um someone has someone has left their job to go study someone has to finish it this year and reasons like that uh, so for everybody who has gotten their admission so for everybody who is planning to go this year uh, and needs any help with admissions then you know where to go go down to the description below fill the google form and uh, somebody from my team will come and uh, help you with end to end uh, procedures like looking for the course looking for the university uh, applications visa process everything end to end and uh, if you are somebody who has done all of this and is ready to fly then in terms of accommodation you know where to go again go to the description below i have a link click on that it will take you to a reliable website uh, the website is called amber student uh, for all those people who don't know uh, i see that abhi tak instagram mein i keep getting a lot of questions in terms of listen my university is this can you please suggest me places around the university uh, where i can look for accommodation so these kind of questions are so sorted when you go to amber student so please go and click on the link below for all of those who are still dicey about going uh, who have the letter in hand and are thinking uh, i would say give it some more thought um if it's possible then push your admission uh, if you are not sure ki uh, if you are thinking maine fees bhar diya now what or what if i don't want to go then always go and contact your admissions department you will always have an email id go write them an email ask them how they can help you in terms of uh, a refund in the worst case scenario or deferring your admission to another intake go ask for help and they'll be happy to help you
So when I say that if I were you, then I wouldn't go. It's majorly because I've been there and I've come back, and now I see things. Uh, I get a more clear picture. I see videos on the internet where I see students are standing um, uh, on the streets, lining up for food. People are not getting part-time jobs. All this really scares me. If you think that you are financially strong and will help you, uh, you know, survive there for the initial few months, because see, on the brighter side. Vaccines are out and everybody is getting vaccinated. I think five six months from now, every uh, human being on earth will be vaccinated. So, if any of you are planning to go for the September intake, then that's a really good idea. Uh, or if you want to defer, then the immediate next intake, whichever the university is offering, then go for it. I would just say one thing that if you're going uh, in the next intake, make sure that all your uh, bookings are done. Uh, before you get there, uh, it's important to safeguard your uh, living expenses and accommodation and all of this before you get there uh, instead of you know having to compromise and uh, live in terrible conditions. Okay, so coming to today's video. Today's video has a purpose. I am going to list out all the downsides of studying or living in Ireland. So watch till the end because this video is one of those that can make or break your decision. You know the drill, I'm going to start off with all the cliched uh, points that you hear about, you know, everywhere on the internet and then, then I'll go down into details and uh, I'll tell you all the points that happen for you all also. So yeah, let's get started. The first downside, the first downside of Ireland is its geographical position. <laughs> So when I first have heard about Ireland, I had no idea where it is on the map. Uh, my mom thought I am going to go to some island. She didn't know where it was on the map either. Uh, my dad had a fair idea of this, but none of us did. Uh, if you have a map in front of you and you're standing like two or three feet away from it, you will probably not be able to locate where exactly Ireland is also. You have to get close to see it. So. My, what I mean is, it's very small, um, it's in one corner of Europe and uh, most people in India do not know where Ireland is and that is one big downside. If you go telling, uh, if you go to your family telling there's this place called Ireland, I want to go study there, the first thing they'd be like, what happened to US and Canada, why Ireland, where is Ireland? So I think that is a very big downside. Uh, it's important that when you are going to go to your family to tell them where Ireland is, make sure you know where it is and make sure you are prepared with an answer to tell them that why you want to go there uh, in the first place. Okay, the second one, job market. Job opportunities in Ireland are, given current circumstances, is very tight. Saturated is the right word. <laughs> So again, considering the size of Ireland, uh, there are very few cities where uh, there are more job opportunities. There are ma the major three cities in Ireland are Dublin, uh, Galway, and Cork. And most of the job opportunities, though you, I think I've said this before, and though uh, Ireland is a hub for all the European Union companies, uh, has many of the headquarters there, but still. The job opportunities that it can provide for students are more on the tech side, on the pharma side and on the data sciences side as compared to all the soft skills. When I say soft skills, I mean sales, marketing, etc. Um, because Ireland is a more skill based job market. That's why people there who hire look for more experienced people. I keep telling you this, I made this mistake, but if you're still in India and have any less than three years of experience, then I would suggest that postpone your plan to go abroad. Please stay here, gain some more experience. Make sure you bag at least three, I'm, I'm saying this again, at least three years of experience and then go to study. Because after you complete your um, masters, that's when they, that's when, you're going to showcase whatever you learned here in India and it's the time frame that matters. Nobody is going to look at you if you're less than three. Like the chances are very low that somebody is going to consider you if you have less than three years of experience. And given today's condition, because of COVID, most people have stopped hiring. It's the same like it's everywhere else, but it just will help you get those extra brownie points if you have more than three years of experience. 
if you are a fresher and um, so Ireland's job market is very mature in nature and if you are a fresher with comparatively lesser years of work experience then it will get very difficult for you to settle in to fit in uh, that job market uh, it has a lot to do with uh, getting your visas and settling in Ireland later also which I am going to come in which I am going to talk about in the next point another downside of living in Ireland is the cost of living though it's a very small place its cost of living is very very high euros is i think the third strongest currency in the world and most of your uh, money goes away in your living expenses anything that you want from your part time or any money that's coming in from home most of it is going into your living expenses i have talked about this in my second part of study in ireland a uh, long long back uh, if you have any doubts about how much you're going to spend if you need a breakdown of that and also if you'd like to know the return on investment then please uh, click on the link above and um, I think most of y'all might have researched by now that uh, in Ireland, Dublin is the most expensive city. Uh, the rents in Dublin are comparatively very high as compared to Cork, Galway and all the other cities in Ireland. And Dublin ranks 46th uh, in the most expensive cost of living cities in the world. It's the 6th costliest city in Europe. So. I'm sure you might have gotten an estimate of how much you'd be spending for as long as you're living there. So it's important to make so much money to spend that much money and everything is interlinked. Like if how do you make so much money? The job market and the job market is not as good. So yeah, all these are big, big downsides. Like I said before, uh, I have given a detailed breakdown of how much you'd be spending as a student uh, in terms of priority also. So please go and click on the link to get all the details. Now next, next is, what is it? Oh, weather, my favorite. <laughs> so the next is Irish weather. Now people, no matter what, if you like cold, if you like the heat, anything in abundance is very, very irritable. Dublin's, no, sorry, Ireland's weather is very, very unpredictable. Now it might be shining bright, then immediately it will get cloudy and then it will start raining and there's a thunder going on. All this happens within minutes. Like I have, if you're following me on Instagram, I have so many times recorded, put in stories of how the weather changes within minutes and I personally do not like it. So if you're somebody who can be bothered by such factors, then Dublin is not the place for you because most of the time you would be cribbing and not doing anything. I used to be cribbing for two years straight. I have only cribbed about the weather. Though, summers are to die for, but that's a plus point and we're not going to talk about it in this video. I've already spoken about it in the previous one. So go and click on the link below to know the upsides of living in Ireland. For anybody looking for an example, I'll give you the closest example of someone who's never been abroad and would like to know what unpredictable weather can look like. Uh, if everybody of y'all, I'm sure most of y'all might have watched Twilight. In the beginning, she moves from Arizona to Washington and she is complaining about the weather in that small intro speech where she's saying that it's all wet here all the time. That's exactly how Ireland is. Twilight is the absolute tinge of how Ireland looks. That that Game of Thrones grey tinge, that twilight blue tinge that you see, all of it is Ireland for you. I'm not trying to scare you, but yeah, you should know that's absolute reality. The next and the most important downside is the visa system. So I long back made a video where I explained half of how it works and the rest of the half is due. I'll make it soon. But uh, Ireland's job... Uh, Ireland's job roles are divided into two specific categories of visa. One is the general visa and one is the critical skill visa. So if you are in the critical, if your subject of masters lies in the critical skill set, then you are sorted. You can rely on somebody to sponsor you. If somebody is not sponsoring you, you can sponsor yourself over the time. But in terms of general skill set, if your like marketing uh, does not lie in the critical skill, it lies in the general skill. So even if I get a job, I'll have to always rely on the employer to sponsor my visa. And the moment it did, so I'm going to live under a sword thinking ki I'll have to leave this place. I cannot own that place forever. I'll always be thinking ki someday I will be asked to leave. This definitely is a very big downside because people who go abroad go majorly with the intention to study and then settle there for good and they don't want to come back. So 
having to change my st- if you if you give me an option and you would say ki would you choose anything other than marketing to fit in the critical skill i wouldn't but there might have they but you might come across people students who are ready to change their subject in order to fit into that critical skill visa just so that they can settle for the you know settle there for good then i think it's not worth it so if you are someone who is more inclined to studying what you want to and will live there as long as they're letting you live there and don't mind coming back or moving ahead in life uh, from ireland then ireland is for you but if you want to settle there for good then think about it so the next and i think probably the last downside of uh, living in ireland would be the pr and the citizenship so after talking about the previous point i don't mean that the critical guys or the general guys will not have the chance of getting a pr or a citizenship no there is always a way around it but it's a little difficult so there is no pr pr system uh, like in canada you live there for 2 3 years and then you're eligible to apply for a pr and then after you apply for it you get it and then you can stay there forever uh, that's not how here uh, that's not how it works here there are certain criterias that you have to meet to get a stamp for in ireland stamp for is kind of a pr but even after you get a pr you'll have to sponsor yourself every year like once you get a stamp for doesn't mean you have it forever so you'll have to keep renewing it the same goes for your gnib also like when you go there as a student you pay for it like right uh, you pay for it every year you pay 300 euros every year to renew it and the validity of it is for another year the same applies to stamp for also regarding citizenship there are another ton of criteria that you have to meet to apply for a citizenship and that's when i think i think in ireland that's the problem that till you don't have a citizenship in hand after living there for 10000 years till then you are not going to be at peace uh, that you know now you can stay here now you can own this place and you can be here for good nobody is asking you to leave so i know that uh, a few points might feel uh, like uh, make you feel a few points might make you feel clueless that's majorly because if you only been following me and i have made a half um information video about pr and uh, all the skill visas and all of that before the rest of the the rest of that i'll try and make it soon just so that you understand this video even better so these are all the downsides that i could think of i can go on and on about downsides because i have a lot of problem with ireland now that i'm back here but um if somebody has good intentions wants to go there study there uh, live there then i think it's good for them uh, i always wanted to come back so i'm back here uh, that's why i have a problem with the place but otherwise i think people uh, who are um fully informed of what they're signing up for i think it's a great place to go and be keeping all these conditions in mind I know or I'm this this video is not at all to scare you this is just to help you make an informed decision just to help you weigh the pros and cons sometimes you like the place so much that you forget to see the cons and sometimes you hate the place so much that you forget to see the pros I just want you guys to see um Ireland from my perspective I know so many people who have gotten their stamp for uh so many people who have gotten their citizenship so से करना होता है और जिसे वहाँ रहना है दिल फाइंड अ वे दिल डू इट दिल मीट ऑल द क्राइटेरिया सो आई होप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट देन आई होप यू ऑल आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट दैट इज ऑल फॉर टूडे गाइज इफ एनी बडी हु हैज़ वॉच दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम आयरलैंड दैन इफ यू कैन थिंक ऑफ एनी ऑफ द डाउन साइड ऑफ लिविंग इन आयरलैंड दैट आई हैव एंट मैंशन दैन प्लीज टॉप अ कॉमेंट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो गाइज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और एनी आइडियाज ऑन वॉट वीडियोज आई शुड मेक दैन प्लीज लेट मी नो लिसन इफ यू आर आस्किंग मी कि how do i become a doctor in ireland how is the mbbs course in ucd then i will not be able to help you because uh, i am going to tell you the same thing that you are going to find on the university website so ask me something that i have experienced and i will be able to help you with that so please drop in your ideas and um, yeah that is all for today guys uh please like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell icon till i get a no- till i <laughs> Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, bye. But don't give up. No, don't give up. Lord knows we've had enough. It's so hard.